Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Nightmare of the Snow. Previously on Nightmare of the Snow, we finished off the flashback. Now we're going off into the finale to confront the ghosts and end this once and for all. Shall the crystal be shining? The God of Ice is somewhere near to be found. Oh, we have to fight the God of Ice. This looks like a boss arena. Huh? I thought Yukiko's corrupted soul would be here. Did we miss something, or...? Who? There she is. You know, we should get running. She appeared! No, it's, it's kind of awkward. It's really cold in here, to be honest. You're not that scary anymore. In fact, rather than being scared, I pity you. Ouch. You're pitying me. For what? We've seen what you had been through. Your past. My past? Don't you remember? Your past. When you spent your times with Haruto, when you ran away with him. Haruto? Why is she laughing? Ouch, my ears. Do you think that I'm the Yukiko you knew? I'm secretly just evil, Yukiko. What do you mean? Yuki! Let me tell you this. I was born from Yukiko's dark essence, which she had been carrying throughout her life. Just like your psychopathic copy. But don't worry, that doesn't mean that you're not my reincarnation. I can't move my body. Damn it, I really can't move myself. Why at a time like this? <laughs> what a silly reincarnation of me. You think you can run away from your fate? I'm gonna rip that heart out. Why do you want to rip out hearts so badly? No! <laughs> Nothing personal. Yuki, Kayako. I'm sorry that I'm a little bit late. I flashed up all the way down. Taiga, thank god you're still alive. I'm like in a certain save I just did. Where have you been, idiot? I was so worried about you. No time to explain that. Beside the destiny. Let's deal with her first. I'll explain everything when we get back from this damn dimension. Did you just, like, one-shot me right at the start of the fight? What am I supposed to do? Tiger, do something! Do something, Tiger! What happened? What did I do? Did I beat her? She's dying. And I'm not doing a single thing. Oh, here we go. Use the... The stake. Wrong one.
And so the cycle begins anew. Today's my school farewell party. I have to recheck my luggage now. But really, what kind of dream was I having? I've got a feeling that I've forgotten something. Something really sinister. That works. What now? Use the the mallet. No, the stake. Okay, there's only one line that's use now. The mallet. Stake it in her heart. Do the track, you little thing. Just camp out in the corner. The old fashioned way. Is that, is it? Is she ready to rock again? Where is she? Sword. Stake. Mount. Gotta get away. Just wait it out. Wait it out. Hope she doesn't run around the corner really fast. You still over here? This could be a a three hitter. Damn, she tough boy. She's real fast. She actually beats me in a sprint, so I gotta be careful. Damn, how much health do you have? This has got to finish this. Yeah, that's it. Five hits. That was... That was an awful boss fight. So this is the ending. I think I'm just gonna let this go on its own and not read anything, so... I have a feeling it's gonna be very prosy. My god, the darkness is gone. I can see in the game. Sorry, he's my man. Do we get to do the ex dimensional escape collapse thing, or do we just get teleported out? I imagine the good ending, or rather the true ending, is they get the pass.
He's in your soul. Pop in a sword. Oh. Oh, he was just inside of him. Yeah, it's gonna lead to like really lewd ghost stuff. Let's just take my sword and I'm not gonna need it down there. Go, uh, go hunt ghosts. What if she's the dad reincarnated? That'd be really weird. Oh, it's for the stupid secret route. It's either the mother or the dad. Souls are just gonna start popping out of everyone now. <laughs> oh, sister. The littlest one that watched over.
she cut it dry. This feels really... I don't know, just... Ghosts just standing there so defined. It's really Star Wars. They're gonna wave us off. There's Yoda, the short one. It's Obi Wan, Anakin. It's a terrible, terrible thought. It's just a dramatic scene. Time to go. Both? Shouldn't it be like all of you? A nice little song to it. Nice high to low, or low to high, rather. Farewell. Good luck marrying my reincarnation. You guys are totally OTP. It's the last thing we hear. Back, I go. It's a one big moon. You know, I can imagine some grim scenario where they survived all this and everything's okay. And then one of them, like, goes to the pool and puts on that red swimsuit or something, and bam. 
We for all that only to die to a random death gag. Because those were separate from the evil dimension place. Those were just like normal haunted things. Oh, yeah, this epic samurai bell. God, is he going to come alive too and it's going to be Ghost Boyfriend? Oh my god. Hi, I'm your ghost boyfriend. Came to pick you up for the date. Don't really have a car. Kind of dead. Nope. Ooh, dark spells. I used to be a pen in the mock up. Just do it. Don't want to make that stupid joke about what she a little beef. I'm already sick of that. Let's just all be his successor. We're all gonna be pin level cops. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. You only want to teach the cute girls. The job of the paranormal cop is to use the katana. I'm only specialized in like spell casting. You want to go to like a samurai trainer. Unless you want to be like a dragoon or a dark knight, then it's like a whole nother ball game. See?
Your dad. Your father was a paranormal cop who uses a katana. Call them katana cops, but samurai cops. Oh shit. They gotta go fight cults and shit. It's, it's Devil May Cry. It's Devil May Cry ending. So this is where the cult gathers tonight, huh? Yeah, but do they really worship this god that we were told? The place looks suspicious already. Alright. I think there will be traps inside as well. Did you bring your sword? I don't see it anywhere. Receiver visible. The sword can be summoned any time, though. Huh. You've improved a lot. So, what's our plan? Spy on them. Look out for any paranormal activities or suspicious documents. We'll bust on them once they begin the said ritual. Sounds like a good plan to me. What you think, Yuki? I think that will do. Keep in mind that this is a very dangerous ritual we're about to deal with. Still, I'm really concerned about their god. If I'm not mistaken. Oh ho 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 ho! The name is Cthulhu. I figured, I was like, this is a Lovecraft thing, isn't it? The mythos god, Dark Ruler. According to the myth, he's sleeping currently in the underwater city of Rale. I actually don't know how to pronounce it. I know how to pronounce Cthulhu, but uh, not the other one. He'll perform a ritual to awaken it, maybe. Don't know. One thing's clear, though. We fail, and then we're dead. Right. This party's getting crazy. Let's rock. Go then, the paranormal cops. I, I, it's, it's my cannon. Killing badasses, fighting Cthulhu. That's good enough for me. Be more observant and cautious, and take this password that you wouldn't even know otherwise. So that's it for Nightmare of the Snow. I won't be going back for the other endings. Some of them have some annoying requirements, like replaying the game and stuff, annoying passwords, and uh, very, very specific, like one person dies and every person dies kind of stuff. I have mixed feelings about this game. On one hand, I think parts of the game are pretty good. There's a lot of effort put into this game, there's a lot of writing, 
Um, I think it has terrible pacing issues at times. There's some real high points and there's some very kind of draggy parts. And it's similar to Corpse Party in that sense. They're both very long. I think Corpse Party actually is still is longer. But Corpse Party kind of relies on its over-the-top gore and little writing things to kind of keep the interest going. This one is actually a little more of a fluffier, nicer story. So when it hits those slow points, there's not as much to kind of keep you hooked. And it loses a bit of the fun it had at the start of the game. But certainly solid. A very solid kind of tribute to a lot of these, I'd say, RPG Maker games. These kind of like Corpse Party and all those. And I think the boss battles are unneeded. Like I always kind of say, if you're going to have some little gameplay aspect, it should be a good one. If it's not, then it's better not have it at all. But in the end, I can't say I dislike this game. There was, like I said, there were certainly very strong high points, and then there was, like I said, some parts where I thought it was dragging and whatnot, or a little bit redundant. But for an amateur kind of first-run game for this team, pretty solid. It's not trying to be an Eid clone, which a lot of these are. Uh, it borrows a little too much sometimes, where I think it kind of transcends the homage point to a little too derivative, but it's... It was interesting anyway. I kind of interesting kind of shift from the kind of goofy horror to samurai love drama. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Nightmare of the Snow. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.